Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and today's video is going to be a lot more personal than any of the other videos that I have previously released. I'm going to be talking about more of the business side of being an artist and how I transitioned from nearly 10 years of being a full-time employee into creative entrepreneurship. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, I am super glad you're here. Consider subscribing because every single Friday I release a new video sharing art tips, drawing and painting tutorials, and a general encouragement for beginner and intermediate artists. So before actually having left my last full-time job, I remember spending months and months doing research online and trying to understand and learn what it actually takes to make it as an artist nowadays. And I watched tons and tons of videos created by amazingly talented artists that were sharing their experiences with us. And I found all of these videos and articles so incredibly helpful and enlightening and I honestly don't think that I would be here today if they weren't around. And even though I'm just starting out with my business and it's only been a year that I've been setting up these foundations for myself, I really wanted to create a video in which I could share the things I have learned so far. Throughout this year, I have been not only working hard on my own artistic development, which I barely had time to do before with my demanding full-time jobs that I was in, I've been also making sales locally, taking commissions locally, learning a ton about what it's like to actually manage a business, things about accounting, marketing, and all of these things that I knew nothing about, and working very hard on getting my work out there because in all these years, I barely use social media at all. So it's been a ton, a ton of learning throughout this last year and even though I'm sure that the learning is going to continue on and on throughout the years because as an entrepreneur it never stops I feel like I'm finally at a cusp at which I'm finally going to be able to launch my my art shop and my online art tutoring services and I want to share with you because I feel that it could be valuable to to all you beginner artists out there that maybe want to make something out of your art someday. Or even all you creatives out there that are in the same situation that I was in, trapped in a full-time job and kind of anxious to, to get started on your own thing and kind of wondering if it's even possible. So if you're in one of these situations or anything similar and you're interested in kind of knowing a bit about what it's been like for me, give me a like and I'm going to be sharing three questions that I received in my Ask Me Anything event that I had at amafeed.com a couple of weeks ago. I selected the three questions that I'm going to be answering today based on the fact that they were pretty recurrent during the AMA and also due to the fact that they all tie in with the topic of making the shift from full-time employee into an artistpreneur. Okay, so before actually jumping into the first question, I just want to sort of let you into my backstory a tiny bit just so that you kind of know a bit more about me, my personality, and where I'm coming from. So I've always been a creative person and I think my first real downright creative experiences were actually through writing and then I, I drew later on and I loved to draw since I was a child but it was always an on and off kind of thing and later on in high school I, I took my first photography course and this was back in the day when there were still dark rooms I took my first drawing class when I was around 14 or 15 years old and this was actually a comics drawing class but later on through high school I didn't really draw very much, I was very much into collaging though. When I finished high school I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, I knew that I was very creative 
and that I pretty much sucked at anything else, but I didn't really know, I didn't have a concrete idea of what I wanted to do. I finally decided to go for the graphic design route. It just seemed like the most sensible option for me at the time and the option that would allow me to make some sort of income as soon as possible. And another key point that I feel influenced my decision back then is the fact that even though my mom was always very encouraging and I'm sure that she would have supported me if I had been set on becoming an artist uh, since a young age, since before university, she was a single mom. My father left us when I was around 15 years old. He didn't really ever bother to help us out financially after he left and in all reality it was always my, my mom who took responsibility for my brother and my education and overall well-being. And so throughout the years I guess I just saw her struggling to make ends meet and seeing how she struggled to continue providing a good education for my brother and I and I guess I just wanted to help out as soon as possible. Something I also feel is key and kind of influenced the decisions and the paths that I decided to take in my life is the fact that I am very introverted, I suffer from anxiety problems, and I didn't really start getting into a more positive headspace and start feeling better with myself until a few years ago. So it's not really that I gave into the starving artist mentality or that I felt like I would ne never make it with my art or anything like that. I definitely knew that it was possible. I just knew that it would be hard and I just didn't have it in me back then. I knew that it would take a, a huge amount of effort, responsibility on my part and a, a thick skin that I just didn't have. So I guess that's why for years and years I just sort of blocked out the idea of becoming an artist and I just stayed in my full-time jobs because I just, I just felt more secure that way. However, even though in my past jobs I for the most part was always very happy starting out and very excited, I always ended up getting to a point at which there was something missing and I am very very thankful to have gone through those experiences because they allowed for both personal and professional growth that I definitely needed but at the ends of my you know during the last let's say two years of my last full-time job experience I was very very anxious to get started with my own artistic development which I had never had the time to do so I guess over time I reached a point at which I was able to develop uh, those professional and personal aspects of myself that I felt lacked a lot of development and I was also at that point learning a lot from other artists online that were sharing their experiences and were informing other people that it was possible through hard work to make it as an artist and also to be honest I was already over 30 and I felt like the years were passing me by and if I didn't take the leap then I would probably be stuck teaching in a school environment for the rest of my life and something else that of course definitely helped is the fact that I got married and I have a very supportive husband that believes in my dreams Okay guys, so having shared all that with you, let's move on to question number one, which is what arrangements and preparations did you go through to leave your full-time job and how did you know you were ready? To answer that question, I would firstly say that I saved up as much money as I possibly could. I have never been a very big spender, fortunately, so I already had some money saved up. But I knew that I wanted to treat this like a business from the beginning. I knew that there were going to be initial business investments that I would have to make. I knew that I wanted to hire an accountant as soon as possible so that I could learn from him or her because I knew absolutely nothing about taxes or accounting and it freaked me out. I also knew that I wanted to invest into a professional looking website since the beginning in a domain name and in social media scheduler so that I could start getting my work out there. I also knew that there was a huge possibility that I was going to have to invest in business courses because I knew nothing about business. 
So on top of all of the regular monthly expenses, I knew that I was going to have to pay for all that and I had to make sure that I had enough money for that. Aside from all of those financial preparations, I would say that I also made sure to invest as much time as possible in my own artistic development so that I could have some quality products and services to offer as soon as I was able to. So in all of my off time from work, even if I arrived late after having worked overtime, even if I only had a weekend morning, I made sure to invest that time into my artistic skill. And also in every free minute I had, even during work at this point, I made sure to continue reading articles and watching videos and learn as much as possible from artists that were already successful. In regards to the how did you know you were ready question, I would say as cliche as this sounds, I kind of just felt it. I felt that I had prepared as much as I could possibly could. I felt that my time was running out, that it was now or never, and even though of course I felt nervous about it and sort of insecure, I could not for the life of me stop thinking about all of the ideas that I wanted to make happen and I just wanted to get, I wanted to get home and paint as much as possible. Every single hour that went by in my job, I just dreamt of spending it painting and drawing and developing myself artistically. Okay guys, so moving on to question number two, which is what were the most challenging aspects of transitioning from a 9 to 5 job to a full-time artist? And what were the first steps you took when you became your own boss? I would say that aside from all of the preparation that I had to do before leaving my job, which I mentioned in the previous question, it was difficult for me to accept in the beginning that artists are business owners. You are an entrepreneur. A full-time artist is an entrepreneur. And so as a business owner, there are a lot of hats that you're going to be wearing. and. Unfortunately, you're going to have to be doing a lot of work that is tedious and boring. And I also had to accept the fact that I would have to be constantly pushing myself out of my comfort zone if I wanted to make it work. To answer the second part of that question, I would say that some of the first things that I made sure to do in those first few months were to create my own work schedule and sticking to it no matter what because there was nobody to give me a specific routine to follow or a specific schedule I would have to be creating that schedule for myself so my schedule has shifted a little bit since then just because I have been slowly discovering when I'm most creative throughout the day so that I can sort of make that a priority. But what I can tell you is that once I decided when my wake up time would be, when I would be setting my alarm, I have made sure to always wake up at that time and get to work. And I also make sure to stay focused and waste as little time as possible throughout my working hours every single day. Another very important thing that I did in those first few months once I decided to leave my job was think of my business goals. There are so many different ways that you can go with an art business and I think that you have to decide for yourself what it is that you want and set those clear goals for yourself so that you're able to set your strategies and start working towards those goals because if you don't know what it is that you want, you're never going to get there. And the last piece to that answer I would say is that I committed to make making self-care a priority because I know that if I'm unwell then my business is going to suffer and I know how essential it is in the beginning especially to to show up every single day and be willing and able to put in the work and the last question I'm going to be sharing with you today is do you have any regrets do you wish you had left your full-time job earlier 
I think I did feel this way a little bit in the beginning just because I felt that I was surrounded by all these amazingly talented younger artists and I was already a certain age and I sort of felt this need to sort of push through faster so that I can get to that point. But since then, I have come to accept and enjoy the phase I'm in right now and I have come to, to the realization that everything happens for a reason and that I'm exactly the place that I should be. And I personally feel that I had to go through those past job experiences. I had to grow at both personal and professional levels in order to be able to do what I'm doing right now. So I by no means see all of those years as wasted time. I do not regret it at all, having spent that time in those past jobs. I am incredibly thankful for those experiences that allowed me such growth. And I am also incredibly thankful for, for just being able to prepare for what I'm doing right now, monetarily and at a mental and professional level as well. Okay guys, so that is it in terms of the questions and just to finish this video up, I would like to share some essential tips that I feel are going to help you succeed as an artist. The first tip is to set up multiple income streams for yourself. So do not put all of your eggs in one basket. Stay open and flexible and think of how your artistic abilities and skills are able to create different products and how you're able to provide different services that people could find useful. Tip number two is to continuously learn from other artists that are already successful. Tip number three is to be adaptable and flexible. You need to think about what there's an actual need for and what your audience actually wants. Tip number four is to accept that you are a business. Learn about marketing and do not be afraid to put yourself and your work out there. And remember that it is as much about you as it is about your art. And my very last tip is to stay inspired and motivated because it can totally happen for you but it's going to take effort and it's going to take time, so you have to be patient. It's highly likely that you're going to have to work full-time jobs, but take these experiences as learning opportunities to grow professionally as much as you can and create the most successful business that you can later on. Okay, everyone, so that is going to do it for today. I hope that you found this video inspiring and helpful. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below about any of the things that I mentioned today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next Friday. Bye!